This video covers the topic of activity-based costing for ACCA's paper F5 Performance Management. If you find this free revision video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. To view all the free revision videos available for paper F5 and for hints and tips on how to pass your ACCA exams first time, visit my website www.accountingcollege.co.uk or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Activity-based costing is a costing method that assigns costs based on the activities of an organisation to products or services according to their actual consumption of each. The aim of activity-based costing is to calculate the full production cost of a unit or a product. It is an alternative costing method to absorption costing, brought about because Overhead costs can form a significant proportion of total costs in modern manufacturing. Also, the need to stay competitive means the diversity and complexity of products has increased, making activity-based costing a more effective costing method. The five steps of activity-based costing. Step one, group production overheads into activities according to how they are driven. For example, overhead costs are manufacturing costs 400,000, setup costs 300,000, packing costs 300,000, total production overheads 1 million. For this example, we've only used three types of overheads. In an exam situation, you may be given many more, such as rent, electricity, quality control, and so forth. Step two. Identify cost drivers for each activity. By this we mean what causes these activity costs to be incurred. For example, manufacturing costs may be driven by the number of machine hours. Setup costs may be driven by the number of setups. Packing costs may be driven by the number of orders. Step 3. Calculate the overhead absorption rate for each activity. For example, say we have two types of phones, a luxury phone and a basic phone. The luxury phone takes 5,500 machine hours, 650 setups and 650 numbers of orders. The basic phone takes 4,500 machine hours, 350 setups and 350 numbers of orders. The overhead absorption rate for the manufacturing costs will be the value of the manufacturing costs divided by the number of machine hours, $40 per machine hour. The overhead absorption rate for setting up costs would be the setup costs divided by the number of setups, $300 per setup. The overhead absorption rate for packing costs will be the packing costs divided by the number of customer orders. $300 per order. Step 4. Absorb the activity cost into each product. This can be done on a total production per product or on a per unit of product basis. If there are 20,000 luxury phones produced and 40,000 basic phones produced, the total activity costs and the activity costs per unit would be. For manufacturing of luxury phones, Take the 5,500 machine hours to make luxury phones. Multiply this by the overhead absorption rate for manufacturing costs, which is $40. To get the per unit cost, divide this by the number of units produced, which is 20,000. For manufacturing of the basic phones. Take the 4,500 machine hours to make basic phones Multiply this by the overhead absorption rate for manufacturing costs, which is $40. To get the per unit cost, divide this by the number of units produced, which is 40000 For the setup of luxury phones, take the 650 setups to make luxury phones. Multiply this by the overhead absorption rate for setup costs, which is $300. To get the per unit cost, divide this number by the units produced, which is 20,000. 
For the setup of basic phones, take the 350 setups to make basic phones. Multiply this by the overhead absorption rate for setup costs, which is $300. To get the per unit cost, divide this by the number of units produced, which is 40,000. For packing of luxury phones, take the 650 orders to make luxury phones. Multiply this by the overhead absorption rate for order costs, which is $300. To get the per unit cost, divide this by the number of units produced, which is 20,000. For packing of basic phones, take the 350 orders to make the basic phones. Multiply this by the overhead absorption rate for order costs which is $300. To get the per unit cost, divide by the number of units produced, which is 40,000. Step five, calculate the production cost. Of course, in an exam situation, you will be calculating either the total or the unit cost, not both. Both are shown here for illustration purposes only. You can check your figures at this stage. Take the total full production cost of luxury phones and basic phones, which is 610,000 and 390,000. This gives you 1 million, which is the original total production overhead costs. Or take the unit full production cost of luxury phones multiplied by the number of luxury phones produced. $30.5 multiplied by 20,000, giving you 610,000 and take the unit full production cost of basic phones multiplied by the numbers produced. $9.75 multiplied by 40,000 gives you 390,000. As we have seen, 610,000 plus 390,000 gives you 1 million. With the cost per unit, you can then work out the profit per unit. Advantages, more accurate and reliable costs because it focuses on the cause and effect linkage of costs and activities, leading to more realistic pricing and improved cost plus pricing. This leads to more realistic margins for sales strategies and research and development decision making. Better understanding of cost drivers, leading to better cost control and to more realistic budget setting. Useful where overhead costs are a significant proportion of total costs. Addresses the fact that overhead costs are not all related to production and sales volume. Can be applied to all overhead costs, not just production overhead costs. Can be used in service as well as in production costings. Disadvantages. Expensive and time consuming to implement. Benefits may not justify the costs. Impossible to allocate all overhead costs to specific activities. Choice of both cost drivers and activities may be inappropriate. Misinterpretation of data. Activity-based costing may be more complex to explain to stakeholders. It's of limited benefit if overhead costs are primarily volume related. It's of limited benefit if overhead costs are a small proportion of total costs. If you found this free revision video helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. To view all the free revision videos available for paper F5 and for hints and tips on how to pass your ACCA exams first time, visit my website www.accountingcollege.co.uk or subscribe to my YouTube channel.